Making sense of singular antecedents in English grammar. Hello, language learners. Welcome back to our grammar series on nouns and pronouns. Today, we're going to zero in on a very specific but crucial topic. Agreement with singular antecedents. As you know, understanding the relationship between nouns and pronouns and the rules governing their use is vital to mastering the English language. So, let's dive right in. First, let's remind ourselves, what is an antecedent? An antecedent is a word, phrase, or clause that a pronoun refers back to. Consider this sentence, John lost his keys. Here, John, is the antecedent of the pronoun, his. When we talk about singular antecedents, we're referring to an antecedent that is singular in number. This could be a singular noun, like dog, apple, or Mary, or even a singular noun phrase like the quick brown fox. Now that we've refreshed our memory on what an antecedent is, let's talk about agreement. Agreement in this context means that a pronoun must match its antecedent in number. That is, a singular antecedent needs a singular pronoun, and a plural antecedent needs a plural pronoun. With singular antecedents, we use pronouns like he, she, it, or its. For example, the dog lost its ball. Here, dog is a singular antecedent, so we use the singular pronoun, its. Let's add another layer of complexity. What happens with indefinite pronouns like, anyone, everyone, someone? Despite referring to more than one person, these are actually considered singular. That's right, so we use singular pronouns to refer back to them. For instance, Everyone has his or her own opinions. Here, everyone is a singular antecedent, so we use the singular pronoun, his or her. Well, that's it for today's lesson on agreement with singular antecedents. This rule is a cornerstone of English grammar, and I hope that this video has helped you understand it better. Remember, practice is key, so make sure to try using these rules in your own sentences and writing. Stay tuned for more English language learning videos. Happy learning, and until next time, goodbye.